guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video um you guys can probably tell i wanted to do a little makeup tutorial now i'm in a different setting i'm at my boyfriend's house and it's kind of quiet and more peaceful here um to film videos so i was like you know what let me let me take advantage of me being peaceful and quiet and i can i'm able to film a video um my hair looked a little black in the video for some reason my every time i wash my hair out the hair dye is just coming off completely um just looks kind of pink and a little blonde brown ish i don't know but I might have to re-dye it soon i kind of want to go for a blue this time but i've been dyeing my hair so much that it's just gonna end up so bad um so i'm just gonna put it a little bit um off to the side maybe with like a clip um it might not stay but we're gonna it's so short now but it's okay um i already kind of started a little bit on um the um, primer and I was using this beauty runway face okay this isn't it hold on hold on okay the beauty runway face primer I'm gonna add a little bit more to my nose there's like a little tiny bit right here okay just so I'm able to get it everywhere it's really like not I don't know if you guys have ever tried those primers that are like oily no that is why i have not used primers in a long time because all the ones that i find are really oily this one's really dewy but lotiony which i like about it because it doesn't feel like you're just putting oil on your face like literally some of them make you feel like you're just putting coconut oil on your face and like i can't do them um if you're like me obviously you can already tell that my face started to get red literally every time i would go to school after i like i have some days i would not have makeup but i would just put like a little bit of primer a little bit of like lotion and my face would just be red for hours and people would be like oh my god are you blushing and i'm like no my face just naturally gets red and i don't know who else's face does this but um as you can see my skin's pretty clear it doesn't look too bad which is good um gotta get rid of this little face fat over here though which i didn't have a couple months ago but it's fine so I'm gonna go in with this um, CoverGirl Undercover Concealer and this is what I use as a foundation because I'm gonna show you guys my other concealers. So I just go very, I'm trying to sit somewhere where you guys can see what I'm doing. But I'm also not trying to have too much light on me because I know I look stupid. So I'm glad I found one in my color because sometimes I'm not able to. <laughs> girl y'all he has a dog so i don't know if anybody else does this but this is how i apply my foundation usually and if you're wondering why i'm actually putting concealer into here um you guys probably can't tell but i did get in a pretty bad incident at a pool where i jumped and basically i hit my nose on the ground and i've had this little scar here but it ended up going down um this is a concealer i'm going to be using it's the one by elf it's a, the hydrating camo concealer with a satin finish and it's in the shade fair warm and then the cover one is in the shade it doesn't even oh classic ivory okay is this brush i don't even know where i got it but i just love this brush and as you can see i'm always using it for everything and then i think the camera is going a little bit too too far away and i think it's elevated a little too much but Hopefully not to where the point you guys can't see what I'm doing and I don't look retarded because, you know, I think I fixed it a little bit. Because honestly, the concealer I had before that I would use as a foundation was a lot darker 
and it did not make my face look good and then i found one um the covergirl one at walmart which is usually where i get most of my makeup sometimes i might get some things from like five and below um i like cvs but um the one i had before i got from cvs and then this one i got from walmart Okay, I'm going to put just a little bit on my eyelids because they are very red and I don't want to look like a clown. Okay, and then we're just going to blend it in with the same brush because I just like using it for just about everything. There we go. Okay. And I don't really do my forehead just because I don't know if you guys can tell. It's already kind of tan, except for where my eyebrows are right here. It's kind of white. Um, I also don't really do my eyebrows anymore. Um, I don't like the way it looks on me. I look kind of stupid with my eyebrows done. I think I'm a little down my face, but it's okay. This foundation definitely blends in with my skin. The one that I had before, I'm going to probably find some pictures. I look terrible. Also, if you're wondering if I have any lip gloss, I just have the ChapStick. Um, this one. It doesn't sound good. And actually, it's like in a cherry flavored. It's red, so it kind of tints your lips. Kind of like a pink, which is really cute. Nothing too dramatic. I lost my lip gloss that I got from Play-Doh's Closet, so. But it's cute so far we're looking good not too crazy nothing too you know dramatic but it's cute except for my eyelids okay so we're gonna fix that because my eyelids are usually really white um after putting there you go you can see um so yeah after this what i do is i'll put in my concealer i don't know if this is a better angle but my camera kind of keeps falling down so this is the color that i use I don't use too much just because it is very white um so i just kind of do like a little cloud shape thing um under my eyes that's really the only place i really put it and then we're gonna blend it I also like that it's not too white and it's more like a yellow color, like a beige. So it doesn't make me look like a peach, you know? Like it doesn't make me look orange. So it just kind of is, it's like the color that I use, but a little bit lighter. I know you guys can tell, but I really like how it makes, it just blends in together really well. And I love using these two colors together. Cause I know the other foundations I used to use, well not foundation because I don't use foundation if I'm being honest. I just use concealer and I use that as a foundation which is kind of stupid but I just, I don't like using foundation really. And I don't like having, I don't like having those little squeeze in bottles and sometimes there are bottles I don't even have nowhere to squeeze it so you just kind of dip it. No. I like to where it has like a little brush, like kind of like a lip gloss brush but... And then that way I can just kind of spread it where I need it. Because I don't always need um, foundation just because my skin is really clear. But you guys can tell that it does do a big difference. And it just makes my skin not look as cakey as a foundation would make my face really cakey. This one kind of just looks like skin. Which is what we're trying to go for. Which is cute. So we're going to hurry. Now after this I usually set everything. Because I don't usually use... Don't mind his dog, y'all. She's over there in the back. Um, so I got this All Star face palette from Physicians Formula, and I got this from Walmart for like I want to say fifteen dollars. Um, not sure if that's exactly how much it was, but I know that it was around that price. Um, and I usually go in, which is really cute. Like fifteen dollars for this, it's so cute. 
um it has like a little rose petal and it has like a highlighter the highlighter was white but since i used foundation on my hands when i went to go dip it in just kind of spread it around um but if you go to the store it'll be white um and then basically i just um i'll use either the butter bronzer this one because this one's a little bit too dark and then it just makes me look kind of orange so i usually use this one which is a lot lighter and i'll just bronze my face just a little bit i don't want to like bronze it too much because sometimes i do notice that when i bronze my face i don't look right so i just want to do a little bit and that's literally it that's all i do Okay, and then I don't usually put some on my forehead, but just for the video, I'll put in a little bit. I hope I don't look stupid. Then I just put some under here just because my face has gotten really fat and I don't want it to look kind of weird. So sometimes it's just kind of kind of makes that double chin invisible sometimes sometimes it's still there but okay that's it and then okay my camera keeps falling i don't know why also this little piece of hair came out i don't know why so i don't know where my typical nose thing is so we're just gonna use this and just put it right here You guys can see that it's more orange. It's not really like a, um, I forgot what it's called. Oh my God. And then we're going to go in with my concealer, the one I used. Okay, see. We're going to go in with the concealer I used as foundation and just kind of. And now we're just gonna blend the color out. Okay, so visible but also not at the same time. Then I'm gonna use the CoverGirl um, Clean Professional Loose Powder in the shade Translucent Fair, which is the number 105. Um, also got this from Walmart for like five dollars, literally. Um, I've used other ones that are maybe a little bit better than this one, but for five dollars, it's honestly not that bad. And I got everything. Okay, I'm gonna have to take that off later because it got all over my pants and this piece of hair is bothering me. Okay, so I'm gonna just use the beauty blender for this, which I normally don't use, but we're just gonna use it for today. Alright, 
highlight and then I'm gonna just do like a little tiny bit on my eyes just cause when I start I don't like how it creases on my eyes sometimes so I have to put a little bit on my eyes unless it'll start creasing so I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit while I do everything else but so far so good it looks really cute I'm gonna go in with the same palette I know y'all see that that was all the highlighter that I literally just took off my clothes okay so we're gonna go in with the little blush right here um just do like a light blush because i do notice sometimes i overdo it sometimes it's cute overdone sometimes it's not depending on what color how or how dark the blush is so i think that's good for blush baby come get your dog bro All right, so don't want to do too much blush, but I think this is good for blush. If I feel like I need more, I might add a little more. Um, we're gonna go and wipe it off with this brush that I got from Victoria's Secret, but it was a long time ago, so I don't even know if they have it anymore. So we're just gonna brush it off downwards and to the side. So downward, but to the side, so it still has this like line of like contour and then for my nose we're just gonna go and grab the one under the eye and just go like this and then the middle that's it and then kind of just brush it off in the softest way possible and then just my eyes we're just gonna like this and like this and we are done with that um I think I might put a, just a little bit more blush just because now that I took the powder off I feel like I just need a little bit more maybe so I don't look as white just a little bit more a little bit more color and I think there we go okay so now we I can set the camera straight because okay. okay so the camera doesn't want to stay straight but this is what we have so far um it's a little bit lower angle the camera doesn't want to stay unless I keep it in this angle so yeah um I think now what I usually do is um these lashes so the last my mascara my mascara and my curler and turns out i just found it yesterday while staying over at my boyfriend's house um his mom had find had found it and put it um somewhere in a little box for me um this was the curler that i was using that i had to buy because i had lost it um this one's from covergirl and the mascara i was using was this one it's all old um so it barely has any mascara left but i really like the bristles on this one and i finally found my og go-to um curler which was this one that's like kind of broken because i've had it for so long but i still kept it because it still works really good and then this mascara which is a sumptuous extreme lash multiplying volume mascara that i don't even know where this even came from but i really love the bristles on this one it makes my lashes super long um i'm gonna mix that in with this milani waterproof mascara just because it's raining outside and i don't want to mess my makeup up today because it actually looks really good um i don't think i got the powder under here okay so mm. so next we're gonna just um I think I'm just going to spray a little bit of my Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray while I'm letting it soak. Um, even though I'm not done, but I just kind of want to let it set. Because I do put spray a couple times before I even get out the house. Um, just because sometimes it just needs to sit. Um, 
So I'm gonna go in with my curler and we're just gonna curl our lashes. Normally I wear lashes, but I lost them. So we're not gonna wear lashes today, but my eyelashes are pretty long as you guys can see. So I don't really have a big problem with wearing lashes or not. And then, there we go. And then I usually curl it a couple times more, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put the mascara on first. Um, I think I'm gonna do the waterproof one just so I can kind of use it as like a base. Okay, and then we're going to go in with this mascara. As you can see, it already does a pretty big difference. Um, and this is the mascara I use just to get the length and also separation from the other lashes. Okay, so I normally don't use my bottom lashes, but I'm going to do them just because they have white powder all over them. Okay. There we have it so far. My lashes are really long, you guys, so they're really cute when I don't wear lashes. So... After that, um, I think I'm going to use this palette that I have um, for like little, um, I usually use this white one right here and I just put it on like my finger. I use this as like an inner corner highlight. And then I usually go in with a different color, but I think today I want to stick to white just because I feel like it'll bring out my makeup a little bit more. I know a lot of people don't use white highlighter. I actually really like the way it looks on my face. So, yeah, that's why I use it. Um, now we're going to go in and put a little bit on just a tiny bit of the white as like a base highlighter. Just because it does look really good. And then I'm going to just use a little bit of the gold that we have right here. Just a little bit. And then mix it in with the other highlighter. And it gives it like a white but gold look. And there we have it. After that, I'm just going to do this um, rose water mist dewy spray. Shake it a little bit. And then... Then I'm going to use the palette. And there we have it, guys. And this is my, like, no makeup um, makeup look. I'm going to give you guys a little kind of close-up. I kind of missed this little spot right here when I was doing my mascara. But this is what it turns out to look like. Now, sometimes I do put in um, sparkle gloss or I'll put in, like, a matte lipstick. 
Um, I don't want to do that today because it's raining and I don't want to do that. I'm just doing like a regular makeup, just an everyday makeup that I do just for work or whatever. Um, and yeah, I really like how my makeup turned out today and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want any more makeup tutorials or if you guys want to see me doing any other videos. Um, I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm in the room. I didn't do my song.